Hey, what's happening, guys? Uh, this is a camera from Banggood that we're going to take a look at today. Now, usually when I deal with Banggood, they ask me, is there anything you'd like to review? And I look over their site and I find something, and you know, a month or so later, I review it. In this case, they said, we have a camera we'd like you to take a look at. Would you be interested? I said, yeah, sure, send it. So I didn't pick this out. They decided to send it to me. I just want to make that clear. This is... Um, from SCAM, it is the Brick QD800 Wi-Fi camera. And it's a, you know, all-weather, indoor-outdoor camera. So I get PTZ mount in there. Uh, SMA jack, comes with a nice little antenna. And then we have this lead here. This is a uh, uh, power jack and a uh, wired network port for your initial hookup. Hold on, I'm shaking a wire loose over here. Uh, everything gets tangled. Uh, this is the power pack they sent with... I don't know what kind of connection that is. Something other than the United States. I don't believe that's Britain or even European. I'm, I'm not sure what that is. So anyway, there is a nice little instruction manual here. We'll zoom in a little bit to it. That tells you how to go about setting it up. And uh, this, the setup itself is kind of easy. And it says, you know, first connect by the network cable. Obviously, I mean, you have to have a way to talk to it before it can be Wi-Fi. And then blah, blah, blah. And you need to download an app. Well, I don't want an app. I want just a plain IP camera. I want to be able to put in its address. So I'm browsing through here, just looking at stuff, and uh, it's going to output something that requires an ActiveX controller to display the image on the screen. But here's, here's the key, and I didn't really pick up on this earlier. I'm trying to find out where it says that in here. Uh, well, it doesn't matter where it says it. Anyway... Yeah, here we go. Supports Internet Explorer and Firefox. Does not support Chrome. What? Does not support Chrome? So I got to go back 10 years to use this? Well, that ain't great. All right, I've got the camera just kind of sitting here looking out the window. And it's hooked up. And as you can see, it is Internet Explorer. It would not work with Chrome. I don't know why. Okay, so if we uh, try the PTZ buttons, which I'm clicking on, absolutely nothing happens. Uh, can we change the focus? No. Zoom? No. How about color? No. Brightness? No. Am I missing something here? Well, do I have to refresh that to make this change? Let's see. No, these have these have no effect whatsoever. Okay, we'll check that out. Now, if we go over here to System, you can see these are just some of the uh, settings. You can see we have device info here. None of this network stuff is, is anything outside of my house. Don't worry about it. And we come over to parameters. You can see all of this. And if we come down to Wi-Fi, this is where you can set up for Wi-Fi. You'll see this SSID that it could be connected to. It's disconnected at the moment. Is uh, what I have it connected to. And that is simply a guest network within my network I had to create for security reasons. And those reasons are very simple. When I tried to just connect it to my regular network, which uses special characters in the password, such as a percent sign, a question mark, and a dollar sign, those will be changed later, it gave me an error message saying that you can't use any special characters. So, I mean, come on. I don't like the sound of that. 
Uh, P2P settings are for an app, for a phone app. No, go away. Motion detect. Um, I'm not really playing with any of this. I'm more concerned as to why those PTZ controls aren't working. So let's go, let's go take this thing apart and find out. Okay, well, it's Thursday now. I had to wait another day to start this teardown. You know, yesterday it was like 60 some degrees outside. And today, it's snowing. I'm getting tired of this. Maybe after my retirement, I should move to Arizona. You know, they say it's a dry heat. Of course, so is the inside of your oven. I don't think I'd want to live there either. All right, let's see what we got. Come on. Oh, it's a tether. I'm thinking, why is there a uh, <laughs> why is there an electrical connection to this case? Is it grounded? No, it's just a tether. This is a really nice waterproof seal, though. So that's nice. And well, there's why the, the PTZ doesn't work. There is no PT nor Z. Interesting little springy thingy. Let's uh, get more in depth here. I went ahead and took the screws out. I didn't figure you needed to watch me do that. So if we get a look in here, now this is rotatable. It's just not motorized. Let's see if we take these screws out, we should be able to remove the camera. From this mount. And we'll see about these circuit boards in here. I left this running all night. Ran okay. A little bit warm, but no big deal. Okay, so here's what we got going on. So we got our camera board up in there with a bunch of LEDs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like 16 LEDs. There's our LDR sensor to turn them on. This is the chip HLI. It's like HLI 316. So that'd be our main board. Uh, here's our uh, our Wi-Fi board, which is a little plug-in. It's pretty nice, pretty nice construction all together. Um, so this will all unplug from our power and data cable. And then, of course, we've got our Wi-Fi going to this little SMA jack. So this is definitely hackable. You could uh, you could do a lot of different things with the camera itself. That housing's a nice cast aluminum, pretty heavy duty. Kind of disappointing about the lack of uh, actually being a PTZ mount, but you know beyond that, this there's some decent uh, there's some decent circuitry here, and the camera does take pretty good pictures. I'm looking to see if that doesn't actuate a switch or anything. I was just checking. So yeah, kind of interesting there. Okay, so we've got everything uh, put back together here, and you can see the camera's set up. And uh, other than the image being flipped, which I'm sure there's a way that we can reflip it horizontally without a problem. There really shouldn't be uh, any issue to doing that. But everything looks good. Uh, the image is super high quality. The components in the camera look to be very high quality. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely impressed. I wish it had a PTZ function, just because with the housing and everything, it looks like it should have a PTZ function, but, you know, it doesn't. And that's okay. It's, it's not a huge deal.
And that's about all I can say about this other than the price is uh, $68.88 and that's uh, from our friends at Banggood. So I'd like to thank them for sending this to us for our consideration free of charge. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching and a big thanks to the patrons for supporting the channel. That's it. I'm out. Peace.